Peggy 18. Isaac Clark was nobody special, just another systems engineer until the day he responded to a distress call on board the USG Ishimura, the galaxy's oldest planet cracker mining vessel. What he found there was beyond even his darkest imaginings. The necromorphs, grotesque aberrations reconstructed from the dead flesh of former crew members had overrun the ship and seemed to have some connection to a religious artifact, the Red Marker, unintentionally unearthed by the Ishimura's illegal mining operation. Whilst trying to aid survivors, including his girlfriend Nicole, Isaac attempted to subdue the Red Marker's influence by returning it to the planet on which it was found, Aegis 7. With the help of other survivors on board the Ishimura, including Nicole, Isaac is ultimately successful in growing the Necromorph threat and escaping into space. However, he soon discovers that Nicole in fact took her own life prior to his arrival on the Ishimura. What he had been seeing and speaking to was a product of the Marker's influence and his own broken mind. Three years later, Isaac awoke on a colony on Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Committed to a mental institution and with no memory of anything since his escape from Aegis 7, he was immediately thrown back into the midst of a necromorph outbreak. Through exploring the massive civilian station, appropriately known as the Sprawl, Isaac discovered that during his three-year period in stasis, his knowledge of the marker was used by EarthGov to create blueprints for more markers to be built, including one constructed right on Titan Station itself. Oh my god! I built that! Though EarthGov now want Isaac destroyed, the Unitologists want to preserve the blueprints trapped in his brain to harness the power of the marker for themselves. Though also battling his own dementia and guilt over Nicole's grisly fate, Isaac once again managed to stop the Necromorphs by destroying the so-called Site-12 marker and Titan Station along with it. Escaping with the help of fellow survivor Ellie, their subsequent whereabouts remained a mystery until now. The Dead Space series is always focused on telling an intriguing story, going deeper than providing just a series of scares. Isaac can't overcome the Necromorph Scourge. He can only escape it momentarily. And even when he does escape, he is left damaged to the point where he can no longer trust his own judgment. Whilst the Necromorphs consume humans, and humans consume entire planets, Isaac continues to fight his own personal demons, both mental and physical. But his part in this tale is far from over. Oh!